Hello everyone, this is Bigowski. And this is JTB. And this is chapter 10 of my Ninja Gaiden Sigma making the end of chapter Master Ninja Rankings with my good buddy JTB. This time I decided to equip the Falcon Gauntlet since we have it and I figured I might as well try it out and see how good it works. And I actually do use Nippo a few times in the chapter where I might not have before and I think it helped me out quite a bit. So I decided to go back in here and get the Warhammer even though since I'm not really doing a, a full-blown karma run I don't know if I need it or not but just in case I figured I might as well get it and do one of the fights in here. There are two fights that you can do while you're in the monastery but I'm just gonna do the one right now. Um, to be honest with you, you could probably skip this fight altogether, or even the Warhammer if you're not playing for Karma. What do you think? Uh, yeah, the Warhammer's not really that useful. I mean, it has a couple of decent moves, but at this point in the game, I, I think kind of the, the strength of the other weapons at this point, like you've got the level 3 Dragon Sword, you've got the Dual Sword, you've probably got the Flails leveled up. If you got the Warhammer like a couple of chapters earlier, it might be a bit more useful, but the fact that you've got all those other weapons leveled up now, it's sort of makes the warhammer a little bit redundant and again you could just ut or et with the warhammer these guys and uh but again i'm still trying to even though i'm not doing a full bone karma run i'm still kind of playing for score a little bit and oh don't forget to use this trick to help uh stop the timer if you're getting close that works on some chests mm -hmm. and and things like that so, any item pick up yeah too uh, yeah. it, with the with the level three sword here, though, you could actually do gleaming blade. It's a little bit faster. It's only um, I think we showed that in one of my old videos. Um, I think it's only about four tenths of a second faster. But I mean, that's that is actually a big deal when it comes to certain fight time limits because when you do the X Y, you need the U T to hit. Well, you need the U T to hit earlier because in Sigma they have that little like slump down animation on the final hit. Whereas if you gleaming blade them, they don't. So that goes back to like N G B timing. So you can still do the same setups. Right. And I think, uh, but you got to be comfortable with, you know, jumping and, and uh, on landing Gleaming Blade or rolling into the Gleaming mm -hmm. Blade. So one reason I went to the side over there is cause, so I wouldn't kill all three of the, the soldier guys. Again, it's not that big of a deal. And here I wanted to try something a little bit different too. And, you know, go back here to this corner because I know the rocket guy can't shoot me right now. But I think it's real critical to listen for the... Uh, the dissolve of the guy we talked about it in the previous chapter to be fully dissolved if you yeah. sit there and throw a smoke bomb out while he's not dissolved gotta love my movement um, you know you're not going to have time and say here I just kind of run away and I run away so he can dissolve and then I can get distance I know he's going to get me with it or uh, he's going to come towards me but I'm not going to be able to, or to get shot yeah exactly that early debilero really uh, paying out here. Oh, you yeah. normally say you wouldn't normally have the Debilero here in uh, NGB because you get that one extra scarab in um, in the, well in chapter nine in Sigma. Right. So again, uh, no look attack. You could drag the essence from the other fight if you wanted to. And I think I'm uh, again kind of some bad movement and I missed my on landing, but. Yeah, see, I, I released early because I thought the guy was going to hit me, but I'm like, oh, okay, I still got this. And then I said, well, do I want to jump over there and try to X, Y him and charge, or do I just want to try this out and drop a smoke bomb and get my uh, Dobby out because it's, you know, the animation's so fast. It's like, hey, why not, uh, I think I got an ET out of that that I wasn't expecting. Yeah. Uh, one thing you can also do, it is more of a, like, kind of karma run specific strap, but if you want to get that extra UT, uh, incendiaries also work really good on the regular soldiers. You can just incendiary them, and, like, the explosion time is, like, just the same as, like, staggering a charge, so you can kill a dude, incendiary, charge up, and then you'll get your ET or UT out of the same guy. So you can do that, too. Well, speaking of that... <laughs> and see, I, I said I wasn't going to keep my uh, Dobby at level one. You know, I'm, I'm true to my word. I'm going to update it to level two. But if you were going for all out karma, you, you don't want to update or upgrade your Dobby. But speaking of what you're saying, again, the, the incendiaries work really well. And mm -hmm. this is it right here. Now, sometimes if they like get blown into the side of the vehicle, 
Uh, it, it might kill him, but... Oh, watch this. You know, I think the guy's coming out, and I'm trying to be careful, and it didn't target anybody. I said, well, let me just go ahead and try this. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, it worked. You know, he's still yeah. got the UT. Because yeah. the other guy goes to the side, you know, on the, on the first rocket guy, if you don't... Uh, oh, if, I felt if I did an XY there instead of jumping back on his head, I would absorb that essence. Is there any way, whenever you want to do the XY to release the block to where you don't absorb that essence? Or do you have to jump to the other side like I did to make sure you don't? Because yeah, I always have a bad habit of absorbing that whenever I come with my yeah. XY. You just need to buffer it in to your reco any recovery. Um, so w in, in that situation, when you did your first wind path, you could have just let go of block like just before you landed and then buffer in XY so that like the, the buffer window would basically override absorbing the essence. Um, that's probably You can probably find that in some Karma Run videos. Like You're bound to see that at some point during a run. Right. Um, and it's the same principle as, like, it's just another form of essence management, I guess. You know, knowing knowing that buffer window to, like, release block and then do an attack so you don't actually absorb anything. Um, or you could also have done uh, on-landing windmill slash into uh, Y, because you can do on-landing directionals while still holding block. So you can do on land. Like you can do on landing forward Y into forward Y. Um, you'll probably see that. You'll see that in some of the speed runs on the high difficulties, um, because you can do forward Y while blocking, and then you don't absorb your essence. And you can do like the on landing ET to double connect and kill dudes like super quick. Well, I will admit I got a little lucky going to that drawbridge real quick. If you kill, if you kill the first soldier, and then the other soldier soldier comes out, and you kill him. You're only going to get three enemies you have to kill or get counted for three enemies you have to kill that yeah. rocket guy second you have to mm -hmm. and so again uh the other fights leading up to this point no look attack um it works great instead of worrying about having to drag the essence and the reason i chose this pattern usually i go the other way first and then come down this last but I wanted to come to this save statue and, and try this out. So as long as you don't look at the guys, you can run past them. You can feel the camera wanting to move towards where the guys were mm -hmm. before I came in the door. And if y'all remember in my earlier chapter, I left my elixir in here. So, hey, I might as well come and pick that up too. Save me yep. a little money. Now, when I come back out, the guys are actually out here. And, and you can feel, again, they're wanting to turn that direction. But just don't look. Yeah. And so same here. No look attack. I'm really surprised at how much I use this. And because uh, to me, it's just as fast or faster versus going outside and having to shoot the, shoot the rat or drag some other essence. Or I'd almost, I mean, I've not timed it, but just from kind of memory, I'd say it's almost definitely faster. Because you think where, where you jumped and on landing charged, it took you four seconds to charge a UT. It'd take you more than four seconds to go through the door swap to the bow, shoot the arrow, equip smoke bombs again, come back in here and do an on-landing UT. Like, that's that's probably more like, what, 12, 15 seconds? Yeah. So. I suck, man. That's all that little thing, you know, hitting the wall, not trying to hit the wall and all that stuff, and then missing my forward Y going the other direction and then my forward X. I'm telling you, man, it's uh, no speed runs ever for me. <laughs> you know, it's just... But I managed to get through it here. Now, again, if you release a little early... Or if you release light, you can kill all three. There is another mm -hmm. way to maybe get an ET out of that fight or something. But again, I'm not going to. Yeah, you could have nunchuck DT'd. Yeah, like yeah. probably would have been the easiest way because that wouldn't have killed him. Yeah, but but again, it's uh, part of me hates that I miss it. But again, it kind of you know going against what I'm saying. I'm doing just. Uh, or if you just wanted to kill all three, I'm sure killing all three with the UT at this point and. And, and especially with some of the other enemies in the fights and stuff, you know, you're definitely going to be, you're going to be fine. Yeah, I but, mean, you could even kill all three and then forward Y one of the dead ones and eat and UT the body. But that's more sort of, you know, this is. I mean, even the the way you're playing, like with the Debilero, like typically that is like kind of more the Karma Run way to play. Um, if you just wanted to go through and make all the time limits, like, but like not super worry about a lot of, uh, UTs, just ET all these soldiers. Like, e even up to Master Ninja, a Dragon Sword ET will one-shot these guys. So just Windrun ET, Windrun ET, like, that, that's a super easy way to chain through these fights and make the time limits. And you'll still get bonus points because you're doing ETs. There's a, 
there's an, a kind of an advanced karma strategy in, uh, with the with the gleaming blade how you were talking about a little earlier and using inferno nimpo and you know getting a blue and then gleaming blade and then the inferno kills and you can use the blue to get two gleaming blades on the same guy yep but yeah that's that's not going to be in this run at all yeah Again, that, that's definitely a karma run strat <laughs> you know yeah that, yeah the hundred percent but I get in this corner so I don't kill all three. You know, I kind of stay far away. Again, let them dissolve. And even if, if they're shooting at you, you can pretty much. I actually got lucky. I'm surprised. I couldn't believe it. So I was like, well, don't mess it up, you know, because I <laughs> get that little sneaky ET in there at the end. Oh, yeah, you had, a, one, you had, you had 0 .01, 0 .10, yeah. sorry, on, on the timer there, yeah. So, again, uh, this whole section, I uh, these three fights I did... You know, just really in one go and knowing the position of the no look attack has really saved me a lot of time. And then going into the last fight and, and me completing the chapter, I actually had quite a bit of time left. I was really surprised. And again, yeah. I didn't have to go up as far here. I, I could have maybe got another ET out of the fights or something. But yeah. I'm, anyway. uh, I'm just I'm just thinking out loud here uh, what we were, we were talking about before we started recording with getting celerity early because of that yeah. extra scarab. If you like, this is a for, this is a kind of you going for perfect score. But if you were doing that with equipment, then I'm thinking with how much time you have in chapter eleven, which is chapter nine normally. I wonder how many of these fights you could just leave for that chapter and just come right. back and do them with celerity, because I'm noticing on a lot of these you've got about 13, 14 seconds, and if you could do like a no look attack and do smoke bomb charge, smoke bomb charge, that's three UTs out of every fight with that time limit provided you know they don't get knocked into a wall so right. you think about that like over the course of every fight in the chapter that's quite a lot of points this took me a little a uh, few tries to get used to because i was getting used to the bow and uh but i me coming in on this side or the side that i came on versus the other side really kind of ch changed the dynamics of the fight mm -hmm. and you know what we'll, we'll talk about that a, a, a little bit later uh but the alternator fight right here uh, again the 360y with the dragon sword or excuse me with the dual swords just seemed to work best i tried to use the level two dobby and see that's what i'm i forgot to jump and on landing but look at the damage the, the nympho does and then if you can get this is not the best i missed my rotate y again but it's pretty fast yeah even that you know e that even string seemed to stun him though on every hit maybe there's Maybe there's something there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I actually killed them a little bit faster whenever I... But it really wasn't worth the points. And I think I left the time. Uh, or after I killed them, I went ahead and ended the chapter just to see where I was on chapter time. Mm -hmm. And I still had like, you know, two minutes on, on one point. I had over a minute on another. So then I said, you know what? Uh, why waste the time? Because I'm going to be farming a little bit. Because I used a lot of essence to buy Nimpo earlier yeah. in the game, why leave a minute and a half or two minutes on the clock when this is worth what twenty one hundred? Yep, these guys are seven hundred apiece. Yeah. So I, I, you know, obviously clipped that out, but I went straight through, and I, I knew I was going to be close on the time because the chapter time limit is seventeen minutes and fifty nine seconds. So I get. <laughs> 17 minutes and 59 seconds <laughs> now does that count as close or is that just precise <laughs> i call it lucky because yeah. you know uh in any wasted movement during that fight or clinging to the wall or or anything like that you know adds seconds to your time and in that instance it it could hurt me but going back to the alternator fight you could actually maybe shoot some of the barrels and get an ET on, or a ET or a UT on him, depending on how many barrels you hit and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it just wasn't worth the hassle. I don't. I never even tried it. Yeah. And uh, I was just happy to get the bow down because me coming in on the, on the side that I did and that rocket being so far away on the other side let me. And I think also having the the level two Dobby. I could, uh, it would connect with that first guy. The rocket would shoot, but I could see where it was coming, so I could position myself to dodge that 
and then zoom in with the bow and shoot that barrel in front of me. You know, yeah. maybe it would have been easier to or faster to shoot one of the guys in the turrets, but again, I'm still struggling with that bow. It looked like I had a pretty good bow fight or, you know, usage of the bow, but it really, uh, it, it took me a few tries to get comfortable with that, uh, the pattern that I decided to use for myself, but it allowed me to go UT the rocket guy and then be in position to not only collect his essence, because that's ut essence, uh, but to shoot the, the guys in the turrets up there and then also get the rocket launcher because that's a, uh, that's a pretty short fight with the yeah, rocket launcher guy coming out. And yeah. I think coming in on the other side, um, you know, with the rocket guy in front of you, you know, there's a chance you could, you know, get on landing blasted out of that or stunned from the machine guns or, or things like that. So I, I liked coming in from the side that I did. Plus I'd already kill those other fights. And so I knew or kill the other fights. <laughs> I already beat the other fights and kill those guys. So I knew where, uh, all I had was this last fight to do before the end of the chapter. Cause if you do this early, then still have a few fights left. You know, you might be uh, wasting a little time going back up to the, the beginning of chapter. What is that four normally? And then coming back yeah. down and, uh, and that extra, you know, 20 or 30 seconds is three or four times in and out the door there at the end to farm for some extra UT uh, essence. So I think, uh, so going into chapter nine, or excuse me, chapter 11 for Sigma, I'm still going to go back into the, to where you would normally pick up the strongbow because that's how you get the free talisman of rebirth. As you still yeah, shoot you that target, and uh, <clears throat> but what I always did whenever I played is at the beginning of chapter eleven for Sigma and chapter nine for NGB, I would always go back to the Maramasa statue anyway, and buy exploding arrows or you know buy uh, you know anything I needed in order to help me get through chapter the beginning part of chapter eleven slash nine. Well, I figured I might as well take that step out of it at the end of chapter eight, because usually, or, or chapter ten. I'm sure people know what we're talking about at this point. Um, yeah, just just add two to whatever we're talking about. Yeah. If it doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's like, why waste that time? Because I actually tried that a couple times, and I was only able to get off six visits or you know uh six times killing the guys with the uts and absorbing their essence and then i'd have to go to the other side and go up and then uh and it's like well wait a minute i'm going to be coming back here anyway so mm -hmm. let me just spend that so so again it's it's something a little bit different and before we end it people talk on uh some of the higher difficulties well the best place to farm essence is where the ghost fish are and you can do that for unlimited amount or you can do in front of hands bar and stuff but to to have the dobby at this point this is probably the easiest fastest way to farm essence before you get into the rougher chapters like 12 13 14 you know what whatever the 14 and 15 and 16 what, whatever they would be in sigma yeah you know and uh because I'm just going to have to go in there maybe for about two or three minutes because the chapter time in the next chapter is so long. You know, I'll be able to get my UF before I get to uh, either before I get to chapter 10 or right at the very beginning before the first worm of chapter 10, which are chapter 12. Yeah. So any, uh, any final thoughts on this? I mean, the pattern seemed pretty good and the no look attack seemed to save a lot of time. No, not really. I say the only thing I was thinking of was uh, would be for the full run. You know, like that early celerity would be a game changer in that chapter. You know, so that's yeah. points for like if anyone's thinking of doing a normal run. You know, there you go. That's just that's just added more things that can go wrong for you. But you know, such as a karma <laughs> run. <laughs> so, and remember, if you do leave some of those those uh, fights for the the next chapter, which in this case would be chapter eleven. Uh, even though the chapter time limit's long, if you leave three or four fights to do, uh, you're not going to have that much time 
and the, you know, fighting the helicopter in the radio tower and going back and saving. So that there's, uh, it's not as easy as, as it may seem. There's definitely a trade off. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 But okay, guys, it's, uh, I know I, um, uh, squeezed in a few more points there that trust me, you don't, you don't have to do that, but it's, uh, I'm definitely going to get the Master Ninja ranking, and I hope some of these areas that I go to, especially the no-look attack, use that to your advantage, and you know every, everything will be okay. So that's it. Hope you all enjoyed it. Y'all take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Peace.